Okay, so this is 9.8 from the 5th edition. Um, I don't think this question is in the 4th edition, uh, but let's go ahead and do it. It says if the separation is 1 and the viewing screen is 5, plane waves eliminate the slits and the whole setup is in air where n is greater than 1, what would happen if, to the fringe separation if the air was pumped out? Uh, okay, so uh, well, um, the uh, if the air was pumped out, uh, we know that the wavelength uh, is equal to. So basically, what we're doing here is if we're sucking the air out, we're taking this from vac from air to vacuum. So we're going from one point zero 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 two nine down to one. This is in vacuum. So basically, the n is going down. So n is going down, and uh, we know uh, that uh, lambda is equal to the lambda in vacuum divided by n. Uh, uh, in other words, uh, lambda will be n times lambda and uh, or if if the if this one down that means the wavelength will go up so the wavelength increases and we know that the separation is equal to as we did in the previous question here is s lambda over a So the separation between the fringes is equal to s, which is the distance between the receiver and where the slits are placed. Uh, lambda is the wavelength, and a is the uh, how far are the slits, the double slits from each other. So if lambda goes up, the separation delta y will go up, increases. So this is the qualitative answer to this question. Uh, now, if we want the quantitative answer, well, we could say uh, we could figure out what the new wavelength is, having the old wavelength, and so we know that delta y prime has to equal s times lambda prime over a. Now s over a is the same, and uh, lambda prime will just be lambda over uh, n. And so we get uh, s is The viewing is five meters away, so five meters away, and there uh, they are one millimeters. The separation of the narrow slits one millimeter, so that's one times ten to the minus three. So I'm finding delta y prime, the new separation. Lambda is. Uh, 1.0589.3 uh, change this to meters multiplied by 10 to the minus 9 and then divide this by uh, n over 1 now I'm assuming uh, that the wavelength that the book gives for monochromatic light I'm assuming that that's uh, in vacuum 
uh, I mean the author is not very clear but I'm assuming when he lays it out like this on a chromatic light that's in vacuum so in, in, in air it will be slightly less uh, uh, in air it's uh, it's gonna be slightly less so if we suck the air out then the wavelength will be slightly larger it will go back to 589.3 and uh, n in vacuum is 1 and uh, so we will get the distance of separation to be uh, if we plug this on the calculator Two point nine four six times ten to the minus three meters. So, in other words, that's two point nine four six. So just uh, to rephrase, uh, there are actually three factors that affect the fringe separation. There's the, uh, uh, the distance from the screen, if you increase it, then the fringe separation is increased. There's also the slit separation. If you increase the slit separation, the fringe separation delta x will go down because it's inversely proportional to that. And uh, the, uh, the one we illustrated here, if you increase the wavelength, then the distance of separation between the fringes will also increase.